Hello, second graders. Time for another book. Can I get a drum roll, please? Dun, 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 dun. How much? How many? How far? How heavy? How long? How tall is? One thousand. A one with three zeros. Hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of questions. And we have our number line in our classroom up to a thousand. So let's see what this story has to tell us. How much, how many, how far, how heavy, how long, how tall is 1,000? On a clear night away from the brightness of a city, the sky is full of stars. So many you probably can't count them all. How many do you, do you think there are? Hmm. A lot. On a warm day, a hillside is often sprinkled with yellow dandelions. Could there be a thousand? What does one thousand look like? Oh, they made little daisy chains out of it. <laughs> If you collected 1,000 acorns and put them in a pile, the pile would be very big. But if the 1,000 acorns grew into oak trees, they would make a whole forest. Hmm. One thousand sheets of paper neatly stacked make a pile about as high as four thick books. Yeah. Here's a challenge. I want you to find the biggest book you have in your house and see how many pages it is. Now, you don't have to count every page, but you can go to the page number and see how many it is. But if the wind blows the paper around, 1,000 sheets will litter an entire neighborhood. 1,000 people sitting in rows will find a small, will fill a small hockey arena. But if the 1,000 people are all waiting to get in, the line they make will stretch out the door, down the street, and right around the block. So what they're saying is a single file line of a thousand people, whoo, that would be pretty long. How many people are in the lunch line to get lunch, do you think, at school? Um, our class, which is getting lunch is about 18 or so, and maybe a couple more classes. So I say the line could be 40 people, 50 people. How much is 1,000? Is it a lot? That depends. If you don't like freckles, a thousand is a lot of them. But when it comes to hair, one thousand isn't very many. One thousand bricks seems like a lot. Can you build a house with them? One thousand bricks would only make a teeny tiny house with one very small room. Would this be enough space for you? Or they made a dog house. What about 1,000 French fries? <laughs> could you eat all of them? I bet you could eat 1,000 French fries over several, several weeks. Even if you love french fries, 1,000 would be too many for one person. You could share them. A single serving has about 40 fries. How many friends would 1,000 french fries feed? Hmm. How much space do 1,000 pennies take up? Could you put them in your pocket? Probably not, even if your pocket is quite big. Even if you use two pockets. Maybe if you used all your pockets. 
Here's her coat full of pennies. So how much money is 1,000 pennies? I think we know how much 100 is. 100 pennies is $1. And there are 10 100s in 1,000. So if I have 10 $1 bills, I have $10. So 1,000 pennies is $10. How far is a thousand steps? Would you be tired if you walked that far? If you walked the bases on a regular baseball diamond, 1,000 steps would take you around four times. But if you ran, 1,000 steps would take you around ten times. Would that make you tired? How many steps do you think you take in a day? I know some people have goals of hitting 10,000 steps in a day. Do you think you'd make that? How tall is a stack of 1,000 pennies? Is it as tall as you are? A stack of pennies is about as tall as, 11, as an 11-year-old. 11 but a stack of 1,000 dimes would be about as tall as a 7-year-old. Okay, well, we'll say that you, you second graders are in between a stack of dimes and a stack of pennies. How heavy are 1,000 cookies? Could you lift them all? If you can lift a two-year-old, you could lift 1,000 Oreo cookies. But 1,000 large oatmeal raisin cookies would be as heavy as an eight-year-old. <laughs> How long is 1,000 minutes? If you started counting minutes at 6 o'clock in the morning, when you get to 1,000, it would be long past your bedtime. <sighs> He's sleeping. If today were your 7th birthday in 1,000 days, you would almost you would be almost 10 years old. So 10 minus 7, that's 3 years. So if we were going to estimate, 1,000 days is about around 3 years. Sometimes 1,000 doesn't seem very much at all. But sometimes it feels like a great many. So now that you know how much 1,000 is, what do you think a thousand thousands would be? Whoa. Now they're going above and beyond a thousand. A thousand thousand. Does anybody know what that is? Hmm. Oh, they have it in writing here. It's a million. So I want you to think about when is 1,000 big a number and when is 1,000 a small number? So pause the video right here. And think about it. When is 1,000 a big number? And when is it a small number? Press pause. Come back to it. All right, are you back to it? I would say 1,000 seconds is actually not a lot. We spend in school, and when you're reading, at home, 1,000 seconds is not a lot. But 1,000, so I'd say that's when it's small. What about when it's big? 1,000, hmm, I would say 1,000 cars is a lot. That's a lot of cars. That's more cars than can be in most parking lots. We usually don't see 1,000 cars all together. So those are just some brainstorming when 1,000 is small and 1,000 is big. What were some of your ideas? All right, thanks for listening.